Welcome back to Credit Above Tarot, Gemini. Gemini, this is your first half of October 2024 reading. All right, from the 2nd to the 15th. All right, the overall energy for you, girlfriend, boyfriend, is you're going to feel like that there are some regrets or some love loss. Okay, maybe you even feel like you're in some depression or something like that or feeling oppressed. All right, but you have the strength and you're coming out of it. That's going to be a lot of healing, okay? There is some healing. You may be doing some traveling as well. This cycle is closing. They say the world is your oyster. You can have what you want, all right? It's for the taking, all right? They're also saying that uh, there's going to be some knowledge come in to you. You may be uh, going, starting to be more traditional, okay? And... Uh, you're going to have a sense of belonging, some form of a celebration, maybe even being with the one. All right, 11-11. Okay, your soulmate, your you know, be our person. All right, this could also be a wedding, mm -hmm. which is going to bring in some healing. Okay, all right, y'all going to do some traveling. Yeah, you're going to have to trust your inner fear, get rid of your inner fears. And uh, look at square in the eye. Talk to that shit and get rid of it. Yeah, because you feel like so much time has passed between you and this person. So much love has been wasted, okay, on um, bullshit. All right. So now let's start from the second, because today is the first, right? So uh, you may not be getting this reading on the first, but I'm going to start with the second and work my way down to the 15th. All right, I already got your cards set out here, girlfriend, boyfriends, because it was fast to do it that way. Then be trying to shuffle on 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 the, uh, the video. Your first card is um, the world card. All right, so you got a cycle that is closing. Okay, you have a new one that's opening. They're also saying that uh, during this full moon on the second. You may find yourself outside doing some form of moon magic, nature. All right? Or are they telling you to get out and go out and into nature? All right? Yeah. They're also saying that you are a healer. Your intuition is going to be heightened. You're going to find yourself more sensitive to spiritual energy than you have in a wall. Not only that, not only that, you got the wheel of fortune. You got good luck coming your way. All right, increase in pay, an amount, uh, undisclosed amount of money coming, a lump sum, okay? Uh, it could have something to do with a job. If you have a job, there's going to be a promotion that comes in or there's going to be some increase in your pay. All right, on the third, on the third, Gemini, you have the Nine of Wands. All right, look like you're going to be working on something, all right, and uh, you might be a little tired about it, but you're going to be working on something, okay? You may be calling in other deities or beings, okay, to assist you with this, mm -hmm. all right? But they're also saying that you're going to be taking, looking at things from a new perspective, all right, you may be needing to get some rest because you're very tired. <clears throat> you may be stepping out of a situation so you can see it in, in a different light. All right, yeah, something that's been uh, worrying you, okay, it's been weighing heavy on you. But they also say this is almost completed, okay? So whatever it is that you've been going through, whatever this heavy burden has been, Maybe you're feeling a little burnout or you got too many obligations or struggles. Yeah, that's coming to an end. All right, on the 4th of October, girlfriend, boyfriends, you are the high priest, he who knows things, right? All right, he who has secrets. All right, so my male Geminis, you may have secrets, okay? You're a high priest as well, all right? And here's an empress here. So it looks like the high priest and the, and the empress are going to come together. It looks like it's going to be a powwow. Mm -hmm. A lot of communication, clarity, a breakthrough, a lot of truth being spoken. All right. And there may be also a new beginning. 
Now the cards say there will be. I said maybe. So on the fourth, you got a new beginning. All right, with a high priest who could be an air sign. On the fifth, on the fifth of October, you got the world card again. All right, a cycle is closing, a new one is opening. All right, there's going to be some healing. Mm-hmm. You're going to find out about a snake in the grass. Not a little snake, but a motherfucker. Somebody is acting like a goddamn snake, slithering and sliding around here. You're going to find out some truth. But this also says that uh, you're going to be um, uh, uh, getting reaping some success, okay? There's something that you've been working on uh, that you have put in motion, all right? And it is now complete, so only thing you need to do now is sit back and be cool and calm. Uh, uh, cool and comfortable and allow it to come your way, all right? This is also talking about you got some success coming in. Mm hmm They saying that you manifested this, Gemini, all right? You had the power. You was creative about it. You used also some logic with this here. But Gemini, also the uh, magician card is a Gemini card. Yep, yep. It's an air sign card, all right? So... What it is is that if this is not you, Gemini, this is another air sign that you're learning, okay, that's doing some stealing or cheating. And this could also mean that you've been giving more than what you uh, uh, you should, okay, to others. Okay, on the 6th of, of October, I almost said July. Hmm. So I guess on the 6th of July, if something is happening. Maybe you're going through the same thing. On the 6th of July, it looks like you got uh, you're going to be very materialistic, or you're going to have uh, you're going to be able to obtain some material material things. Okay, I see you being kind of hoarding it. Okay, all right. This is going to be your possession, your baby, whatever it is. All right. Mm-hmm. They're also showing here the Seven of Pentacles. Your working girlfriend, boyfriend, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, oh, it looks like you got a job and you're working. Mm -hmm. You're putting in a lot of work, okay? Because you want to see your money grow quick, fast, in a hurry. I know it. All right, on the 7th of October. I keep hearing July, though. All right, so on the 7th of October, Gemini, you have the Queen of Wands. You're going to be in defense mode, okay? All right, against any kind of magic or whatever coming your way, you're going to be in protective mode. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Now, this could be of your home. Uh, this could be of your body, your spirit, you know, your comfort, but you're definitely going to be in protective mode. All right? <clears throat> Look like you're going to be throwing everything and anything that come your way. Right. It's possible that you're going to be in protective mode, okay, against the king of wands. Mm -hmm. Hold on, Gemini. Okay, it could be a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. It don't have to be. All right, but this is a person that's uh, mature, powerful. Uh, could be a mentor as well. All right, this person could be a visionary or a leader. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're going to get some messages come in. This could also be somebody that owns a business or a boss or something like that that's going to be giving you a call. And not only that, you're going to have some sudden changes coming in. You might get a text message from somebody, an email, maybe even a phone call. All right, I just get a message on social media from somebody. Okay, let's go on to the 8th. On the 8th of October, you got the Holy, the Holly King. All right, all right, well, you might be feeling a little amorous. Uh, you may be feeling like that you want to... Um, you're just feeling lovable, okay? But this is not on your own doing, all right? This is like, uh, out of nowhere, you're going to start feeling very lovable, amorous, sexy, all right, kind, all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. And, and on top of that, it could not, it could be something else. It could also be that now you got your second wind, so to speak, and you ready you know, to have an argument with somebody because, you know, Gemini's like to argue, right? All right. So you got the Five of Swords here that's saying somebody being very argumentative. All right. Maybe somebody, it could be another air sign. Don't have to be. All right. Could be somebody that's willing to surrender. Somebody might about to be surrender. Okay. So to whatever this BS is that's going on. 
And you may have manifested that too. That's a Gemini card, another air sign card. Now, if just not you, a Gemini, just another air sign, okay, that manifested an argument with you. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, this is somebody who want to uh, argue and then turn around and make up. So, somebody wants to have some makeup sex with you. All right? On the 9th, on the 9th of October, you have the King of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the King of Pentacles here could be Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Don't have to be. This could be just you. This energy that you're going to be in, friend, girls, and girl boys. All right? King of Pentacles. All right? Holding on to your money. It ain't a damn thing funny. Mm -hmm. All right? So this King of Pentacles could be a, a boss man. All right? But this is an arrogant mofo. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. This person may also... Uh, either break your heart or disappoint you in some shape, form, or fashion. All right? Could have been an accident or this person could also um, just be under the weather in some way. Mm -hmm. But uh, it looks like you're going to be very abundant on that day. You're going to have some manifestations coming in. You're going to feel... Uh, like you got some security, yeah, you got prosperity coming in, uh, and some abundance, and it's being handed to you by the hand of God. On the 10th of October, okay, you have the Ten of Wands here. All right, yeah, something is coming to completion, you know what it is. Something you've been struggling with or something that you uh, uh, possibly have some obligations to. Yeah, that is coming to an end. Mm-hmm. You've been standing in hope and faith, all right, and positivity, all right. There's some balance coming in as well, all right. This is an air sign card as well, all right. Hope and faith, healing, inspiration, feeling very positive. Okay, optimism, I like that. Mm-hmm. And uh, when you do that, you're going to be sending out a message to somebody, a person, place, or a thing. I don't know, baby. But you're going to be sending out a message. Okay, you're going to be speaking your mind. All right? You're going to be speaking your mind. You're going to be delegating to other people to do this, that, and others. Well, you're going to be orchestrating things that you need know that needs to be done. Okay. On the 12th, you got a happy card, the sun card. All right, you're going to feel very happy and nurtured, okay? Yeah, you're going to have some healing coming into you. You may even see a crow or some kind of bird on this particular day. This bird is also coming in to give you a message, okay? A spiritual message. A message through telepathy. Telepathy. All right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you are the high priestess, all right? She who knows and who has lots of power, all right? You can reveal another person's secrets. Yes, you could. Mm -hmm. Or oh, you got a secret. That's why you're happy. Okay, on the 12th, yeah, because it looks like something was hard work, all right? It was slow and steady. You were committed to it, all right? And it's coming in, Okay. On the 13th, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, this is the 12th, that other one was the 11th, my bad y'all. On the 12th, look like you're going to be bonding, celebrating, going out to a party, enjoying yourself, just maybe going out for a few drinks or something, but this is definitely a bonding card, alright? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's going to bring in a towel, why? Because you're going to find that there's some healing in whatever it is that you're doing. All right. There's going to be a transition happening as well as some healing coming your way. So definitely you're going to be moving forward, girlfriend, boyfriends. Okay. All right. On the third, let's see, 11, 12. Yeah. So this is the 12th. All right. On the 12th, you're going to be the queen of pencil because you got money coming in, girlfriend, boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Not no little money, but you got a nice piece of change coming in. All right, this could be you also opening up your own business or have a business, okay? Uh, you may find yourself being a little arrogant with somebody on this day. 
Mm-hmm. Wow. That's the second tower moment. Okay, so you got a tower. Okay, so what is the tower about? You can see clearly not. You're not indecisive. You know exactly what you're going to do. Point blank, period. You're not all up in your head. You don't have no fears about this here. It looks like you overcame. All right, some form of a fear. And it may have something to do with... Uh, Okay, other people walking away from you or some something like that. All right, so you don't have no more. You won't be having no more um, illusions in that area. So if you've been dealing with any nightmares, that's over, girlfriend, boyfriend. All right, you've been dealing with some indecisiveness, not being able to make a decision, maybe some fear or, or, or some anxiety. Yeah, that's not going to happen no more. Okay. All right, give me a moment. I want to look at something. Whew. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, before we go to number 13. Yes, indeed. All right, so it looks like a... Uh, you might be trying to break down, okay? So, look like on the 12, you might find yourself opening up to somebody, feeling like you got a little self-pity, maybe feeling bad about yourself, might be subjected to some malicious gossip, or, or, this could be you having, there's been some form of a scandal, all right, and it's causing you to break down, okay? Mm-hmm, you don't have to be, but I'm just saying what they saying. All right. So be careful of the scandal. Somebody gonna try to put you in something. I would feel like this might be something online. All right. You might not even know it's out there. It may be already out there and people just talking. And they don't really know no better. They only going by what somebody else said. All right. But it be a lot of truth. You got to be careful because there are some people out there that loves uh, uh, putting people in, in their mix, whether it's right or wrong, because they're trying to get everybody on their team. All right, those are the people we call yes man. all right, Geminis? All right, so. Whoops, hold on. Paul's trying to fall off the table. It's a small table, y'all. I'm working with it. So you do have the two of swords here in reverse as well. All right. Now, in reverse, it's talking about being indecisive, having some delays. Maybe being in some form of a mental turmoil. Turmoil. Uh, you might even feel like that you blocked off or something like that. All right, so I don't know why you would feel that way. Maybe we can get some more clarity on that. Let's see. Let's see if we can. Why is Gemini going to feel like that they're torn or, or that they're blocked? Maybe you blocked already from somebody, okay? But this is on the thirteenth. Well, you caught hit the flow. Because there's some good news coming in, or there is some good news that you want to share with somebody, but you can't do it because they got you on block. Yep. You got three cards here. Give me a moment. So, as I was saying, Gemini, you got some good news that you want to share, okay? All right? So, yeah, you got the King of Cups here, okay? You're feeling very jovial, all right? Things are going good. You may be having some form of celebration, okay? And you want to just share it with somebody, but you can't because uh, whoever this person is got you on block, yeah. You want to let them know about your money or something like that, or how you manifested so much money or something, or how you just came into some wealth. Mm-hmm. Ten of Pentacles. I mean, Ten of Cups. Your wish has been granted to you. All right. But this person got you on block. All right. So, the 13th. The 13th says that you got some achievements coming in. You're going to be feeling very fulfilled, balanced, harmony. You have a sense of wholeness and belonging. I don't know why, but you are. All right, you feel like you got more than enough to share. Mm-hmm. The scales being balanced. You're going to feel balanced as well. All right. But then at the same time, you're going to feel like you pretty much ass out. You're going to feel like you're out in the cold. 
And that's because, uh, I guess because this King of Cups got you on block. So you won't be able to, uh, you're going to feel like that uh, you're out in the cold because, you know, that your person or whoever this is, you, you're not going to be able to, yeah, you're going to feel, still going to feel a little lonesome, all right, or, or by yourself, something like that. All right. And that's the Five of Pentacles, girlfriend, boyfriends. Okay. Trying to see if I can get you some more information on that Five of Pentacles. All right, maybe not. Somebody tell me why I work so hard for you to give you money. Oh, so we got somebody here that's hustling to get money to give to somebody else. Mm -hmm. They're not getting it for themselves. They're getting it so they can give it to another person. All right. Now, Gemini, this might be you. You you might have gave some money to somebody, and they turned around and gave it to somebody else. You might have gave it to this King of Cups, and this King of Cups turned around and gave it to another female. Mm-hmm. Loyalty. Mm-hmm. I heard that song right quick. They say these hoes ain't loyal. So... A male or female, these hoes ain't loyal. That's what they said. All right, let's see what's the 14th holes for you. All right, on the 14th. All right, you got the witch card, all right? You're doing some manifesting, okay? Yeah, you, you're doing some manifesting, whether it be by prayer, uh, meditating, uh, putting some herbs together. Yeah, you're manifesting girlfriend, boyfriends. They say you're going to be very successful with this as well, okay? Mm hmm You're going to have some victory, some recognition. You're going to feel very prideful, or you may get some praises for whatever it is you're doing. All right? It's pertaining to your finances. You are the Queen of Pentacles on the 14th of, Jan of October. All right? Mm-hmm. And the King is back. Now, it looks like the King going to unblock your ass now. Ain't that some shit? Mm-hmm. Y'all used to watch me perspire before the camera. That's because it's hot out here, okay? Mm -hmm. On the 15th of uh, October, Gemini, uh, there's going to be some disappointments. You may be happy and some regret. You may find that you've lost something. you just feeling, you know, like you're grieving something. Possibly uh, a relationship, okay? All right, yeah, yeah. Okay, Father Cups. All right, due to the fact there's a third party here. Mm -hmm. All right, but there is some healing coming into you, some balance, okay, some stability. All right, they want you to continue to pray, go with the ebb and flow, allow things to be as they are. God, divine source, universe is going to work it all out for you, okay, girlfriend, boyfriends. Let's see what else I can get. Let me check this out. Somebody tell me, yeah, why I work so hard for you to give you money, oh, to give you money. You know, somebody, I was, I was riding in a vehicle with somebody and they was playing that song and I looked at them and it was the way they looked at me, you know, let me know that they was not just playing a song. They was playing a song, but yet and still it had a meaning. So y'all need to take a little heed when you hear music, even in your head, all right? Uh, music is sometimes you be connected to another person, and, and that, that's the way they talk to you. I know that I'm connected to somebody else, and they talk to me through music, all right? So just letting you know, listen to the words, okay? It may not be the whole song, but it's part of the song that they're telling you. They're trying to tell you something. All right? So I'm looking to see what else is going on with this temperance card, okay? Yeah, 
so there is some balance coming in all right gemini and uh, so we have done from the 2nd to the 15th of october all right uh, reading for you all right i hope there's something in here that you can take away with you and utilize it daily all right this is like taking the place of the morning messages so come back to this often this video all right and check each one of your days and see if anything correlates to what's going on in your life on this particular day okay all right like i say don't forget to hit that like share subscribe and comment button get in where you fit in if you don't find that in this video please check your other placements and i'll be there too cruising and viewing our views appreciate it return and subscribers thank you for your support and if you're checking in on a friend a cuss baby even me hey friend so definitely all right so yeah so look at look forward to having some balance and stability doing things in moderation having some harmony okay feeling very serene okay girlfriend boyfriends all right on the 15th i'll see y'all in the next video okay yay yay